So when I said that I was turning over a new leaf, I meant it. So this is Directing 101, which you probably shouldn't even listen to because I'm not a director. But a director is like a photographer. He wants to capture the image. If you're taking pictures of toys, I would say sort of helps that. It also helps the story. The costume designer is the one that comes up with, you know, what shoes should he wear? Or what high heels should she wear? Or just flats? Like, but I think another point that should basically be into play is the actor's comfort level. Now, I also agree with Walt Disney. I also agree with <coughs> Brian Cranston when he says that, you know, you're going to have to come out of your shell. That's fine, but... You shouldn't be doing things that are like extremely dangerous unless you know they're extremely dangerous and you still want to do them because they're extremely dangerous. I mean, we, as a society of human beings, have been known to be more turned on by dangerous things than safe things. And, I mean, I'm not exactly going to tell everyone to commit suicide off planes because you could have parachutes and survive, but, like, the point is, you got to do you. But you also got to push you. So, like, if you really want to be an actor, why? Is it for the money? Is it for the fame? Is it for just so people can see your work? Or is it because you love it? See, the real artists love their work. <clears throat> they never work a day in their life. But real workers work and don't think about a day in their life without work. So, it's a it's a hard line to cross. And I'm not really saying you're right or you're wrong. I mean, I could. It's something I could do. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk to you about directing and acting and creating characters. So, I would say the first thing you need is you need a story. Now, it could be anything. Write about fan fiction of the Joker. Write about a kid who gets bullied in middle school. Write a book about a guy who drinks so much he almost dies. Write whatever you want. But I believe all good actors should be somewhat good writers. Maybe not amazing writers, but just somewhat. Because you're not just tapping into the writing. You're trying to tap into this character. This character has to talk like you. I mean, you have to talk like them. You have to become that person, however you do that. The brilliance of the Joker is like, you know, you put on that makeup, or you put on the mask, or you, you do whatever. You become him. The most amazing point, or this prop, just a prop, one of the most amazing scenes in Breaking Bad, well, there's many, there's many but one of the ones that... One of, one of the ones that are really amazing is the one where basically Walter White has a hat, this pork by a black hat, and he puts it down on the table. And all we focus on is the hat. That is the camera telling you that Walter White has changed. He puts on this hat, he becomes a different person. Metaphorically, it's like changing brains. And he does change brains because brains are so plastic. They can, they can become anything. Like if you want to be a serial killer, no, don't be a serial killer, but if you... There's no reason that what someone says you can't do, you can actually do. There's no reason to believe that you can't do that. I'm not saying any of these things are good. I mean, <clears throat> if you really want to yell at me, yes, I'm the Joker. Yes, I'm the Riddler. I'm Andrew Ruffin. I'm Rough Ruff. Like, fuck you. Like, I don't see what is the big deal here. What I do see, though, is... An actor who is acting with his life. How he feels he's been inside this life for so long, he's like waiting for the fucking ending. Do I die? Do I get married? Do I have children? And basically, these are, the, these are the questions of life. It's not just with acting. And I know, I titled this Directing 101, but I think as a director, you have to think also like an actor and a writer. <coughs> I'm not saying write the script. Act in the script, either be a lead role or some other role. And direct the script, but I would say that if you did all those together in that, maybe not in that order, but you might learn something new that you didn't know about yourself before. Like, 
Sure, I'd like to be a director, but I'd also like to be an actor. I'd also like to be a successful writer. I don't give a shit about money. I don't have money. I spend it. Because I have a problem. Bonjour, Alice. That really? Yep. I'm still going to record my video. Well, sorry about the interruption, but um, point is, is that you've got to know your characters. <laughs> so I'm going to give you guys a practice exercise, which you don't have to follow, because no one watches these damn videos anyway, so I don't care. But the point is, is that you want to do this right, I want you to come up with a script. It doesn't have to be a full script, it just has to be an idea of a script. Once you've got that, start creating some characters. The script could start off <coughs> like in the Matrix, like this crazy, dirty building. Like, it's up to you, but you should do it. After you do the script, then create some characters. After you create those characters, try to direct them into a scene. If you're an artist and you paint, paint it. If you're a writer, write it. If you like to take pictures, well, photograph, photograph it the way you want. Like, I don't care. And if no one does this, well, then no one does it.